Hi, I'm Teresa. And I'm Diana. And this is a love letter to my grandmother. Diana picked a recipe for us today. What's the recipe you picked? Chocolate pie. Chocolate pie. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> All right. So this chocolate pie, we had three choices of chocolate pie, right? But we picked this one because it said it's Mrs. Carl Starr's prize. So we thought, hmm, prize winning chocolate cake. That's a pie, pie, not cake. Chocolate pie sounds good. This recipe, however, a little bit complicated. You ready for a complicated recipe? Okay, so let's look at the ingredients. We need two cups of milk, which we are going to scald in a double boiler. Do you know what a double boiler is? No, and you know what? I don't have a double boiler, so we have to make a double boiler. Ah, I've never made a double boiler. How do you do that? How do you do that? Well, first, you need to know what a double boiler is. So a double boiler is a special two-pot system. You have one pot on the bottom, and you fill the pot with water, and you boil that water. And you have a second pot on top of that, and then you put the food in the top pot, and what happens is it never touches the hot burner and therefore it cooks more evenly. The hot burner, the bottom part, is hotter than the top part, and so the food on the top maybe is not as hot as the food on the bottom, and it can burn. And when we use things like chocolate, it can burn quickly, very easily, so we don't want to do that. So, step one, pot, water. And we want to be careful not to have too much water. Step two, second pot in the water. <laughs> okay, but what we have to do is get the water boiling first. We need to get the steam. So we're going to boil that water. And that's going to take a few minutes, so we're going to come back. Diana, we got the water boiling. I've also turned on the oven to 400 degrees. Why did I turn on the oven? I don't know. You don't know. Well, we have a we have a frozen pie crust that we're gonna pour our pie into. And if we read the instructions, it says that we have to uh, cook, bake at 400 degrees for 11 to 14 minutes, and then cool. So we wanna have enough time to have it cool before we pour our frozen soup? No. No, <laughs> no, what are we making? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Chocolate pie. Chocolate pie. But Diana is very creative and she's invented a new dish. <laughs> What's your new dish? <laughs> Frozen pie soup. Frozen pie soup. So we'll make some soup. We'll pour it in our pie crust, and then we'll freeze it, and that'll be frozen pie soup. You can try it at home. Try it at home. <laughs> yeah, and then if you, uh, what, what kind of soup did you think? Chicken noodle? Is that what you said? Chicken noodle. Chicken noodle frozen pie soup. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so we've got the double boiler starting. It's looking pretty good. We're going to um, add our chocolate. So... We need two ounces of chocolate. Do you want to go ahead and put it in the double boiler? We just put this whole thing in. Yeah, go ahead, just put it in there, yeah. And now, what you're going to do is stir. And that's gonna take a little bit, I think. Mm-hmm, yeah. It took a while. Yeah, but if you stir, it'll, it won't take as long. We are also supposed to take two eggs and separate the eggs. And Diana's never separated an egg before. Is that right, Diana? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to separate an egg while you melt that. Okay, so I'm going to crack open the egg. Ooh, that one's going to be tough because it cracked in a weird way. All right, so what you do is you want the egg whites in one bowl, and you want the egg yolk in a different bowl. So you just kind of go back and forth in the shells like that. Is it hot? Okay. When I'm done separating the eggs, I'll... Uncle Eric, that fan is blowing tinfoil around the house. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> Alright, so in one bowl we have egg whites. And in the other bowl, we have egg yolks. 
Yeah. And very hot. It's very hot. You want me to take it? Yes. All right, there you go. Then not put your, your not put your hand near the bottom. <laughs> well, I'm a little hot. bit taller, so I can get a little further away. But you're <laughs> you're not tall enough yet to get so far away. All right, so Diana, while I work on this, can you get us one cup of sugar? So I'm going to add the milk. I cheated a little bit. We were supposed to scald the milk, and the recipe didn't involve. Uh, it said you could do either cocoa or uh, two ounces of chocolate, so I melted the two ounces of chocolate and we'll scald the milk in here. Eh, it's a little cheaty, but it'll be okay, I think. Uh, you're gonna put that right in here? Right now? Yeah, right now. Excellent, excellent, good job. And then we need Two tablespoons of cornstarch. Yep, that's a tablespoon. And then the cornstarch should be the red one. Yeah, perfect. Alright, good. Excellent. Need one more of those. Excellent. You're perfect at this. Great. Then we'll want one tablespoon of flour when you get a chance. And while this is stirring... Oh, good. This is the flour, right? Yep, you got it. It's like you've cooked in here a billion times and it's only your second time. Good job. So the cornstarch and the flour are going to help this become very thick. Perfect. Good. <laughs> A lot on the spoon. <laughs> That's okay. We can handle it. All right. And then there's actually still one more ingredient. We need it. Yep, you got it. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Yep. It's like you've done this a million times. I know, right? It hardly seems like anything. Okay, good job. And then we just need this to mix thoroughly. It's not yet mixed thoroughly, right? Not yet. Mm -mm. I might whisk it. Do you know what a whisk is? Yes. Okay, do you know where my whisk is? No. It's over there. Can you find it over there? Is it hiding? Well, Uncle Eric sometimes puts it in the drawer. Okay. okay. Alright, so now we are supposed to cook this for 10 minutes. And we're actually supposed to cook the pie crust for about 11 to 14 minutes. So I think what I'll do is set the timer for that and it'll just be a little bit longer for the pie crust. So, Diana, have you ever cooked a pie crust before? Uh, we can rest it right here for now. Okay. Have you ever cooked a pie crust before? Okay, an important thing with a pie crust that's already made and everything that you're going to put in the oven is you have to stab it with a fork because as it cooks, it'll get hot and then the air will puff it up underneath and then you'll have a really weird pie crust. <laughs> One time, ooh, bless you. One time I didn't do it enough, <laughs> and I had one section that was a bit really puffy, and I even had it on the sides. So we're just gonna be super thorough because we don't want a weird pie crust. And we'll just stab it. I think I'm going crazy. I think I'm doing way too much, but. It took hope in the end? Yeah. It's, I would rather be safe than sorry. So. Okay. Mm. Oh. My, my assistant says, there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. assistant. You can put it in the oven. Ten minutes. Your food is going to be hot. 400 degrees. That's pretty hot. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Good job. So this looks pretty good and our fancy little double boiler that we made. 
out of <laughs> pots we had. <laughs> you have flour on your face. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like chocolate. Yes. I hope so, right? If it doesn't, then I'm not sure you did wrong. Yeah. There's a lot of chocolate in here. It better smell like chocolate. So then, when that's done cooking, we need to add the egg yolks. Beat the egg yolks. So yeah, so you want to beat the egg yolk? With that one? Yeah. This is weird. Yeah, it's strange without the whites, right? It feels different. I would suggest, because it's kind of small, going like this. I'm not doing it. Okay. All right, I think our egg yolks are beaten. And then we're gonna add vanilla and butter to the egg yolk, to, well, later though. Hmm. So Diana, it says we're going to cook this for 10 minutes and then we're going to add the egg yolks to the co cocoa mixture, the chocolate, and then it says cook until done. What does that mean, cook until done? How do we know? Maybe like when it looks like it's finished. Okay, let's hope so. Almost finished, because she did add the other ingredients. Yeah. Cook until done. Hmm. All right, so we also need to make what's called a meringue. Have you ever made a meringue before? Do you know what a meringue is? Did you hear the oven? <laughs> no? Okay. So a meringue is when you take egg whites and you beat them. So right now, would you want to eat that? Looks like water. Yeah, it kind of looks like water. But when it becomes a meringue, it looks totally different. All right, so what we're gonna do, Diana, is we're gonna pour the egg whites in the bowl. I should have used this bowl originally, but Uncle Eric had them full of plums. <laughs> <laughs> lots of lots and lots of plums in our house today, huh? Yep. Yep. Bowls and bowls. Bowls and bowls. What was the joke Uncle Eric said? Do you remember? No. He said we each had to eat a bowl of plums, and they're not little bowls. It's not a bowl like this, is it? It's a big bowl. He said something about, it's like, oh, you want one plum. I'll have, have a bowl of plums. Have a bowl of plums, yes. Yeah, it wasn't very funny. No, not very funny. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> Did you hear Uncle Eric? He said, I think it's funner. <laughs> All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here. And you're going to beat the egg whites. 10 minutes are up. It's time to put the egg yolks into our exciting cocoa mixture. We are now to cook until done. We're not really sure what cook until done means. We're, <laughs> we're gonna have to guess that a little bit. But it feels pretty thick. It looks pretty thick. I'm mixing that. And... Diana made her first meringue. It looks awesome! Foamy. Foamy. And it's kind of amazing, right? When you think about the little tiny amount of egg whites and it becomes that. And you were only beating it for two minutes. Kind of exciting, huh? We need to take our pie crust out. Hot. Look, you can see where it bubbled, where we didn't fork it, but we did a good job. We forked it a lot, so it looks pretty good. There's our pie crust. We just needed to- all the forks. Yeah, you can see everything. <laughs> Once you put the chocolate in, it won't matter, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. It's mad about how tasty it is. Exactly. Ooh, that's mm. pretty thick. That looks yummy. Yeah, it looks yummy. So, the three of us think Ooh. it's done. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off out of the double boiler and we're gonna let it, we're letting the pie crust cool, actually. Did it boil at all? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the set, yeah. No, that didn't, that didn't boil at all. It worked perfectly. Our double boiler was perfect. Even though we didn't have a double boiler. All right. You know what? We didn't add the butter yet. We gotta add the butter. And vanilla. And the vanilla, yeah. So. Vanilla. Oh, so how much vanilla? Um, 
One teaspoon. Okay. Do you want to do it? Sure. Okay. Just pour it over the. Ooh, pour it over the pot. No. Perfect. Add that. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. All right, and how much butter? Um, one tablespoon. Okay. One tablespoon of butter. Hmm. That looks like a tablespoon. Ooh, and it's so hot it can melt the butter right now. That's good. Look. Yeah. You want to see? You can see it's just melting around it. I want the camera to see. Oh. You want the camera to see? You can see the butter there is melting. You can see how it's just sort of spreading around. But of course we want it to be nice and thoroughly mixed. So. <laughs> it's like this little yellow, <laughs> yellow <laughs> surprise inside our chocolate. Yeah, see it's still there, yellow surprise. Do you think it's melted now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to let the pie crust cool and then we'll pour it in there and we'll put our meringue on top. So we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Pie crust. Nice and cool. Okay, so now we're going to pour our chocolate filling into the pie. Ooh. So brown. So brown. And now we put the meringue on top. Oh. So here's our meringue on it's, top. Uh, very uh, fluffy. It's very fluffy. <laughs> yep, that's the point of meringue. Fluffy. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the oven and let it brown a little bit. But I didn't turn the oven back on, so it won't brown a lot, I don't think, but we'll pretend. Um, the recipe does not say to chill it in the fridge, right? No chilling in the fridge? I don't know. It seems like it should chill in the fridge for a couple of minutes. What do you think? Okay. Okay. So when we pull that out of the oven, we'll chill it for a few minutes and then we'll come back for a taste test. Sound good? Okay, so the pie is there. It's yummy. Okay. It looks delicious. And Uncle Eric is going to do the honors. Okay, I hope it holds oh, up. Grunkle, right? What, why is he called Grunkle? Diana, why is he called Grunkle? Because he had to wear this grandpa mustache. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. We'll Maybe we should have cooked it a little bit longer, huh? The pie crust? No, no, the, the filling. Oh. 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 oh, he missed half of that. Yeah, a lot of the crust is still sitting in the. Yeah, well, that's always a little tough. Yes, that's true. First, he broke the crust. First, hard. Okay. Okay. We'll try that one looks like it held together a lot better. A little bit yeah, better. A lot better. Let's see. I'll try that either. Ah. <laughs> oh. Let's see. We got some pie soup. <laughs> we got your pie soup after all. Pie soup. Pie soup. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm not even sure what I've got in here. <laughs> Can't tell what things are. Alright, so we got some pie soup. <laughs> I guess I'll take the least attractive one. <laughs> I think mine's the most you? attractive one, okay. actually. <laughs> okay. Mm. Let's see how good it tastes. Let's see. Um. Mm. <laughs> it is nice and chocolatey. Chocolatey. Mm -hmm. But not very thick. Pie Are you soup. getting more? You're getting more pie soup? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that means Diana likes the chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's really good, but too much pie soup. I think we didn't cook the filling as long as we mm -hmm. should have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. But we didn't know what cooked until done meant. And I think it wasn't thick enough. Mmm. <laughs> You're getting it all over the counter. 
<laughs> it's okay. The counter likes food. <laughs> the counter likes food. <laughs> I feel like a chocolate pudding pie, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's definitely really a good. chocolate pudding pie. <laughs> or chocolate soup pie. Okay. Well, I've already all right. eaten all my chocolate pudding soup. <laughs> That's all for us here at a lovely Lady Grandmother. Bye! Bye!